she was the queen of soul who garnered respect on and off stage. Born Aretha Louise Franklin in Memphis, Tennessee, the four octave range vocalist got her start at a young age in her father's church in Detroit. The incomparable songstress often credited him with nurturing her burgeoning talent. Very early on, he taught me a number of things uh, having to do with timing and phrasing and different things like that and coaching me in different ways. He did say at one point that one day I would sing for kings and queens. He did say that, and uh, I have. Franklin won her first of many Grammys in 1967 for Best Female Rhythm and Blues Solo Vocal Performance for Respect. It was a civil rights uh, mantra. I perfectly uh, thought it applied well. Everybody wants respect. Who doesn't want respect? As a young woman in the 60s, she watched her father unite with Martin Luther King Jr. to fight for equality. In 1968, she would sing at King's memorial service. All we need is you, Jesus. The recording artist would go on to win 18 Grammys throughout her incredible career. She also took home awards for hits like Chain of Fools and Freeway of Love. We know we're riding on the Franklin was also ahead of her time with a string of firsts. In 1987, she was the first woman to be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and seven years later became the youngest recipient of a Kennedy Center honor. Some of the things that have happened are unbelievable. Uh, who would, have, who, th who would have thought it? But uh, nevertheless, it did happen. God is good. In the 80s, Franklin adapted her music for a new generation, cruising away with a Grammy for 1987's I Knew You Were Waiting, her chart-topping duet with George Michael. With her voice and her formidable achievements in music and films like The Blues Brothers, Aretha is often considered to be one of the greatest singers of all time. In 2015, Franklin graced the Kennedy Center stage again, this time to honor Carole King. As she sang, President Obama wiped a tear from his eye. Her performance went viral. She also sang for Obama and Presidents Jimmy Carter and Bill Clinton at their inaugurations. However, the woman who sang for kings and queens reveled in being good at the most important job in the world. I've been uh, a wonderful and a very good mother and am a very good mother. That's what I am most proud of first. A loving mother and a decorated diva, Franklin was most of all grateful for her music, her longevity, and her audiences throughout her career. I think for me, it's the love of the music, um, loyal fans. Aretha Franklin, the queen of soul, whose reign transcends generations. Yeah.